Heart disease is the leading cause of death in the world. Approximately one in two men and one in three women develop heart disease during their lifetime. In an effort to learn more about this disease, scientists noticed that people who spend more time in education are less likely to develop heart disease. This finding is interesting. However, what so far has been a mystery is whether this relationship is due to cause and effect. For example, other factors can give the impression of a cause and effect relationship, when in fact, these other factors are causing both heart disease and education. One way to check if more education prevents heart disease is to do a randomized controlled trial. For example, take a group of young individuals, some with high physical activity, some with low, some with good diets, some with bad. Randomly shuffle them into two groups. Give one half more education and give the other half less education. Then wait about 40 years to see which of the two groups develops more heart disease. Such a trial would give us the most reliable evidence on whether more time in education is protective of heart disease. However, this trial is virtually impossible to do because of the long wait time. So researchers of the current study did the next best thing. They mimicked a trial by looking at randomization that occurs in nature. In every human, all genetic material is randomly allocated from their parents, including 162 DNA markers linked to education. Some people randomly receive more of these 162 DNA markers, while others receive fewer. Just like in a randomized controlled trial, the beauty of this natural trial is that the allocation of educational DNA markers is not linked to any other factors, such as diet or physical activity. Researchers then asked the question, do people with more of these 162 DNA markers, and therefore slightly more education, develop less heart disease later in life? The answer is yes. The group with more education developed about 30% less heart disease. This finding suggests that longer education prevents the future development of heart disease. This means that doctors, public health experts, politicians, and civil society groups who advocate for more education may also be doing a big favor for the health of our hearts.